Good morning, and thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. Because remember, so as a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Well, it's the early bird catches the worm edition, if you will. I am on my grind as usual. Um, I love being early. I can just meditate and just think because the world is not as busy, you know. You don't have to deal with the world's chaos and the hustle and bustle of the activities of the day, you know. You can just maneuver and get to, get to where you need to go and you pretty much have the road and the space to yourself early in the morning. I just love getting up early, handling it, and getting on back in because I am a homebody. But um, I just wanted to plant some words of positive affirmation out into the atmosphere so that it may take hold. Uh, and of course, shout out to all of the Scorpios. Happy birthday, Scorpios. You totally rock. You are totally amazing. Um, I am a Scorpio, so I am totally amazing, and I totally rock. And it doesn't come from a place of arrogance. It just comes from a place of no, you know. You have to know that you'll know no, you know. <laughs> but what I was just thinking was, you know, we get so caught up. Uh, and the second thing I want to uh, take the time to do is to thank all of my subscribers I don't believe in there's not a many, there's not a lot, or there's just a few. To me, a subscriber is a subscriber. If you thinking about little old me to subscribe to my channel, to listen to what I have to say in any kind of way, hey, honey, I appreciate you. And I thank you for taking this journey with me because, once again, I created this channel for spiritual growth. And uh, I have been evolving spiritually ever since because... I'm in a place now where I can get a better understanding. Um, you know, there's so much information out here. And, you know, on the external, like on a day-to-day -day basis, there's not too many organizations or too many spiritual places. Um, there are some type of uh, groups or whatever, but I, I try to shy away from the religious groups, if you will. But in, as far as spirituality, uh, there is so much information out there, and I'm just thankful for that. And I'm constantly learning because that's what it's all about for me as Scorpio. You know, we, we think we go within. Um, we're passionate. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, it, it can get misconstrued. You know, most people, it, it scares the, the typical average person away because they don't know how to match that passion and that energy. Or they, you know, they don't understand it. Uh, but really, a Scorpio's love is really otherworldly, you know. But what I was thinking was, um, you know, establishing self's happiness, you know. Uh, you know, I know the divine feminines and the divine masculine have been, just been having at it. And it's amazing to come into the understanding that there is a such thing, because for the longest, I didn't know anything about the divine anything. I just, I knew about soul soulmate connections, but I didn't know the extent of the, that connection. Things that I learned, I learned personally. I learned that when you have sex with someone, you create soul ties, and it's so hard to get out of that union. Uh, you can physically remove yourself, but spiritually, you're connected still with it with with that energy so it is a dangerous thing to just sexually join yourself with anybody now especially once you understand because it ain't no joke uh you know that's the quickest way to get attached to somebody in any kind of way is through sex you know that's why some people are into sex magic because that's real too you know people doing sex magic people doing the black magic and the witchcraft for the sake of getting the getting the lover and, or to keep a lover and all those things like that. But, you know, it makes me wonder, uh, okay, you know, a person has their own free will. You know, you can, you can do all the hocus pocus on a person and, and, and wish ill will on a person. And, but ultimately if that person's vibration is, 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 is that, that person's energy rather is on a high vibration, then that person cannot be touched negatively. 
So it's about building oneself up, oneself eternally, internally, if you will, spiritually, so that you have something to fight with. Uh, spiritually, uh, you know, to help the uh, the carnal man, the, the the physical man, you know, before we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we're we're dealing with wickedness and spiritual wickedness things in high places, things that the natural eye cannot see. So yeah, it is gonna be a fight. It's a fight to get things that you your heart really desire because this the uh, the, the the earth's vibration is so low. Because the majority of people are living through the matrix way of living. So, you know, they're, they're kind of blinded. And I'm not downing anyone. It's just what I see. You know, it, it's through the actions. It's like people like mess. You know, that's, that's how the reality shows are so successful. It's because people like the mess. Uh, but wouldn't it be amazing if people could celebrate the good things? But, you know, it's like... I don't know. I guess I guess you have to be prepared to take the good with the bad because anything that you really have that's worth having, you're going to have to fight to keep it. You're going to have to fight for it. Really, you are. That's with anything in life. It's not just a love thing. It's for, from every aspect of life that you desire. You're going to have to fight for it. And I'm not talking about physically fight. You're going to have to really be prepared to go into a mind warfare. You hear me? The battle of the mind, the battle of this voice within, uh, these two voices um, in opposition with one another, one telling you you can and one telling you to fuck you, you can't. You hear me? <laughs> You know, it doesn't really matter what people on the outside say because you got a whole thing going on within, you know. So, you know, if we can master master our mind in such a positive way that it renders us positive results, then I think a lot of times we will handle situations so much better and so much different, so much more maturely. Um, you know, and this has been a, a learning process for me because I, you know, I have a birthday coming up. I'm going to be 48. Shout out to the 48 grown and sexy mamas. <laughs> but what I'm learning is that, you know, it's not always what people call you, what people say to you, but it has everything to do in how you respond to it, you know. So we have to choose our battles for our own peace sake. It has nothing to do with them. You know, you know, you, we always let our ego get in the way and and pride and things like that. But morally, that is the thing that's going to build you spiritually is sometimes you just have to be prepared to walk away with things and situations that no longer serve you. It's not benefiting you. And if you're in any type of situation, it's not a fair, equal give and take situation, then it's not a situation worth being in, you know. Uh, but what is the thing that makes you happy? Are you willing to rob, kill, steal, and, you know, do whatever you have to do to get it, you know, but remember the same slimy way you get anything is going to be the same slimy way you have to keep it. So if you're willing, if you really want something substantial, something really worth having, then you better be prepared to put in the work in any situation, but put in the work the right way. Make sure your heart and your mind is on the right way you know, the right way. Make sure you don't have any animosity in your heart because those are energies and those are energies attached with the things you're trying to manifest. And, and, and even though your thing may manifest, but guess what? You got those negative energies attached to it too. So although you may have had your, your, your desire manifested, but it's going to come with some type of unnecessary problems with it. So uh, you know, a lot of times we're waiting, you know, we're waiting for something better to come in our life, something to make it just a little bit better. But a lot of times we can make our happiness. It, it, it shouldn't be contingent on if our guy or our job or our family, our friends can be there or do this or do that in order for us to be happy and complete. We have to be able to be happy and complete on our own. That way, if, if we, because if we're happy and complete on our own without 50%, if we join up with anybody or anything and they're coming in with their 50s, they have to come in with at least 50, 50%, 50 you, you hear me? Then it can't do nothing but flourish and be really successful, but I think people now are just caught up on the fleshly thing. You know, mo most people don't want to 
they don't want to clean up. So uh, it's easy to just stay in your your misery, you know, because that comfort zone is being uh, agitated and no one wants to leave the comfort zone. But I challenge you to um, step outside of yourself and to do things you haven't done before. You know, uh, imagine things you never thought could ever happen I mean your thoughts should be absolutely uh endless you know because your thoughts everything you're thinking about in your mind you're really doing it you you it has just of yet to physically manifest for the world to see but you're living in it you're experiencing it so be mindful of your thoughts keep your thoughts because that is the very thing that you will attract and I know I I just kind of (laughs) rambled but Anyway, I thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes. I hope everyone is going to have a beautiful, amazing, wonderful day. It's kind of cloudy here. It looks like it's kind of drizzy. Uh, you know how it's foggy and all those things like that. This is the time of the year. This is in the mid-October. Uh, but it is amazing. You know, uh, you, know you, can, you, can, you can choose to see the glasses being half empty or choose to see the glasses being half full and my cup runneth over. You know, I don't know about you, but my cup runneth over. So you ought to say those things. You ought to speak things that are not as though they were. You hear me? But um, having said that, I thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes on this amazing, wonderful day. Uh, I ask that if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Perhaps subscribe to my channel. Uh, and remember that so is a man thinketh in his heart, then so is he. We are to think upon things that bring us a good report. We are to speak things that are not as though they were already. Thank you so kindly for tuning in to Brown Eyes, and I will talk to you another time. Bye.